The book of Genesis contains many blessings and promises. And as we arrive at chapter 49, we see Jacob calling all of his sons together and blessing each one with an appropriate message. But it's the blessing for Jacob's third son that is by far the longest, which is appropriate since Judah will become the largest and most powerful of the tribes. Verse eight through 10 tells us this, Judah, your brothers will praise you. You will grasp your enemies by the neck. All your relatives will bow before you. Judah, my son, is a young lion that has finished eating its prey. Like a lion, he crouches and lies down, like a lioness who dares to rouse him. The scepter will not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from his descendants until the coming of the one to whom it belongs, the one to whom all nations will honor. Judah is compared three times to a lion. The image is of power. Lions are the king of the forest, ferocious, and yet the lion has lain down. He's content. He doesn't attack for the sake of attacking, and after his conquest, he enjoys a time of peace. And perhaps the most important part is about the scepter never departing. This is a reference to Jesus, the Messiah who was to come. You see, it was from the line of Judah that Jesus was born. And we know that the kingdom of the Messiah will never end. Listen, Judah was faithful. God was praised when he was born. He praised God in his life and others praised God for him. And maybe there's a lesson we can learn. We need to be the kind of people that cause others to think and praise the Lord. Jesus would later say that we need to let our light shine before men, that they could see our good deeds and glorify our Father in heaven. Here's the deal, life isn't just about us. Lions don't kill just for themselves, but for the whole pride, everyone gets a share in the meal. We need to learn to look to others as well, to see what's good for them, to act in ways to bless them, and to do things that will help draw them closer to Jesus, who is the Son of God, promised through Judah. He's the lion from the tribe of Judah, who has broken the chains of sin and Satan, death and hell, and by faith in him, we have everlasting life.